Japan is an amazing country. If you'll ever visit it, chances are you'll take a train at least once. The Japan rail system can be a bit intimidating at first, because of the language, the ticketing system, the different types of trains and the number of train companies. There are no state-owned train companies in Japan, but more than a hundred private ones. Now wait a second, what about Japan Rail, JR? Isn't it the national train company? First of all, JR is not one big company, but it's a group made up of seven independent companies. JR Hokkaido, JR East, JR Central, JR West, JR Shikoku, JR Kyushu, JR Freight. They are all separated by region. Three of them operate in the main island of Honshu, JR East, Central and West. And three operates in the islands of Hokkaido, Shikoku and Kyushu. Even though none of these six companies are state-owned, and four of them are even listed in the Tokyo Stock Exchange, they are not considered private. They are the primary successors of JNR, the Japanese National Railways, the big state-owned rail company that was dissolved in the late 80s. These JR companies own and operate more or less three quarters of the tracks in Japan. Together they operate a nationwide network of urban, regional and interregional train lines and of course the famous Shinkansen. The remaining quarter is operated by many truly private companies, 16 major ones and dozens of minor ones. Most of them operate in and around metropolitan areas, like the Tokyo Metro for example. These private companies are excluded from the Japan Rail Pass and do not operate any Shinkansen. Let's talk about the JR lines for now. Station A and Station B can be connected by multiple lines usually named after geographical reasons, and by multiple types of train services, from the fastest and most expensive like the Shinkansen Super Express, to the slowest and cheapest for local trains. Only the long distance services get a name and a number. The base ticket fare usually depends on the distance you travel. The further you go, the more you pay. But depending on the type of train service, there might be different surcharges express fee, limited express fee, super express fee for the Shinkansen. Each of these might have two options, reserve seat, more expensive, or no reserve seat. On top of these, we also have the green class fees. Green class is like the business class you find on airplanes. Only long distance trains and Shinkansens have it. Then we have the grand class fee. Grand class is like the first class on airplanes. Only a few Tohoku Shinkansen. In all these cases, you physically get two tickets, one for the base fare and one for the surcharge, with your seat number in case you got a reserve ticket. So let's say you want to go from Shinagawa, one of the main train stations in Tokyo, to Yokohama, a city south of Tokyo. You have plenty of options, let's list them. Option 1. We take the JR Tokaido Shinkansen from Shinagawa to Shin Yokohama station and travel on the Tokaido Shinkansen line. We have a few options for the Shinkansen services. Nozomi, excluded from the JR pass, Hikari and Kodama. Nozomi is always the fastest, as it stops only in major train stations, while Kodama is the slowest, as it stops in all stations. Hikari is the fastest service you can take with the JR pass. In our case, it doesn't really matter which service we take, as there are no train stations on the Tokaido Shinkansen line between these two cities. The journey will take around 10 minutes with all services. We need to pay the base fare ticket plus the super express surcharge for the Shinkansen. At present, the base fare is 420 yen, the super express fee for an unreserved seat is 870 yen, for a total of 1290 yen. If you want a reserve seat, the Super Express charge goes to 2500 for a grand total of 2920 yen. If you want to splurge, you can get a reserve green class seat for 3690 yen. Of course, 
For such a short journey, it would make sense to go with this option only if you have the JR Pass. Option 2. We take the JR Yokosuka line to Yokohama station and travel on the JR Narita Express service. The journey would take around 20 minutes and as the Narita Express is a limited express service with reserved seats only, we'll have to pay a limited express reserved seat surcharge which is 1290 yen. Add it to the best fare of 300 yen and you get 1590 yen. In green class, you'll pay a total of 3860. Option 3. We take a JR ordinary train on one of the many lines that passes through Yokohama station. There are many options here. The journey would take also around 20 minutes, but it would cost you only 300 yen for the base fare. There are no surcharges and no sea reservation available. Option 4. We take one of the private railway companies, KQ Railway, and we'll travel on their KQ main line. The journey will take around 17 minutes and would cost you the KQ line base fare between the two stations, which is 310 yen. Of course, this would be excluded from the JR Pass as we're traveling on a private rail company. Usually, the private companies have their own stations, with their own ticketing system, turnstiles and staff. They're almost completely separated from the JR system. Sometimes JR trains will ride on private lines. In that case, you'll need to pay an extra fee on top of JR ticket. So these two stations are linked by multiple rail companies, each with multiple lines, each with multiple services. You have many options to choose from depending on how much you're willing to pay and how long you're willing to spend on the train. From Shinkansen, which are fast, really fast, to the beautiful limited express trains, to local trains. Of course, not all destinations will have so many choices. Sometimes you'll only have one, but many times you have a few options. Let's talk a bit more about Shinkansen now, which is one of the most popular aspects of Japan. The Shinkansen network spreads from Kyushu to Hokkaido. There are eight Shinkansen main lines, operated by various JR companies, going from south to north, Kyushu, Nishikyushu, Sanyo, Tokaido, Hokuriku, Joetsu, Tohoku, Hokkaido. We're overlooking Tokyo Station now, which is the place where you can see the most number of Shinkansen altogether, as they have multiple Shinkansen lines converging here. You see that we have a Shinkansen on the Tokaido Shinkansen line just leaving now towards Osaka. This line is operated by JR Central. Then we have the JR East operated Tohoku line, an E7 Shinkansen just arrived from Nagano. The two lines are not physically connected, as they are operated by two different companies. In fact, they have their own ticket booths and different access at Tokyo Station. You need to go north, take the Tohoku line. You need to go south, you take the Tokaido line. There are many services going on the Tohoku line with different names similar to the Tokaido line we talked before in our example. So you hear and see announcement for the Yamabiko or Kagayaki or Toki or Hayabusa service. Depending on where you're going and how many stops they make. And of course, there are also many different Shinkansen train models, each with its own special livery. Like the E2. The E3. The E5. The E6. The N700A The N700S 
So I hope you enjoyed this short guide on the Japanese train system and I hope that it will help you on your next trip to this beautiful country. Let me know if you have any questions and remember to like this video if you made it to the end. Matane!